Well, the Browns finally did something good. They gave Jacoby Brissett a well-deserved send-off win against Tampa Bay and Tom Brady. Uh, went to overtime to do it. It should not have gone to overtime, but I'll take a win. Um, we're four and seven. Ravens also lost to the Jaguars. So that's pretty good. Um, and you know what? I'm very happy with Jacoby Brissett. I think that he should go down as one of the most respectable Browns quarterbacks since 99, at least. Um, he did a lot of things to put this team into positions to win. Um, our defense didn't carry uh, their end of the bargain. And uh, the record won't show just how good Jacoby Brissett played. when it kind of sucks. Um, I think Jacoby Brissett uh, should be looked at fondly for what he did for the team. Um, but now it's Deshaun Watson's team. And... The next six games are going to be very interesting because now you're going in with a 4-7 and seven record and with Deshaun Watson as quarterback, you legitimately have a shot to go 6-0. and um, Now, do I think that they're going to? I don't know, but I think they have a shot to. Um, I think that we have the Bengals number for some reason. Kevin Stefanski just has a way to game plan around the Bengals. Um the only game that I'm worried about is the Ravens. That's the only team that I think that Kevin Stefanski is genuinely out coached in. Um, I just think that the Ravens are going to be a tough matchup for us. But I think if you can get to 10 and 7 and somehow, some way, have uh, all the other teams that are in the hunt and ahead of you and maybe in the wild card chase, uh, you know, makes a couple of uh, mistakes here and there. Um, you have a shot. Now, it shouldn't be this difficult, um, but there's a window of opportunity, but it's very small. Um, I think that Jacoby Brissett played a pretty good game, all things considered. I think he had a couple of tough throws, tough series here and there. Um, but all in all, I think he did his best. He definitely put the team in a position uh, to win the game. Uh, Nick Chubb, Great game, as always. Had 26 carries and 111 yards and a touchdown. Just absolutely dominant. It's uh, his fourth straight season of 1,000 yards rushing, and we still have six games left, so this dude can get to 1,500 yards rushing. I mean, it's just insane. Um, he's definitely going to go down as the second-best rusher behind Jim Brown for this team. Um, the defense played really good today. Uh, most things considered, this, team, this defense played good today. Uh, Miles Garrett gave you two sacks. Uh, defensive backs played pretty good. MJ Emerson had another great day. Um, we had a little bit of uh, we had a little bit of trouble guarding uh, Chris Godwin, but if you could tell me that you could limit what Mike Evans did today and uh, Julio Jones did, um, you know you pretty much had two thirds of their receiving core stars uh, shut down today. So. I'll take that. Um, we were a little uh, shaky at the beginning of the game. Gave up that first series uh, rushing uh, over for 40 yards or something like that. Uh, that one, this defense can't cover the run. So, I mean, it was expected. But I will say that there is a shot that we could win the next six games with Deshaun as our quarterback. Um I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Um, I'm excited to see what Deshaun brings to this team. And what I think is going to happen, I think that he's going to make some throws that Jacoby can't, especially those deep throws. Um, and I just think that he's going to be more elusive in the pocket than Jacoby is. And he could break out for some more runs, maybe see some windows that are open that he can uh, throw in. Um, and maybe you do more RPO style, uh, plays with Deshaun in instead of Jacoby. Um, but I just think that, you know, now you have an upgrade on the offensive side of the ball and you have a guy who has proven to carry a team and to transcend others around him. Um, and I think that now you, you have a shot to have two 1000 yard uh, receivers with Donovan Peoples-Jones and Amari Cooper. Um, I'm excited to see how Najoku especially is going to fare with uh, Deshaun Watson. I mean, 
his snag in the end zone was insane. Um, absolutely insane. Uh, I think special teams did uh, okay today. Um, I like that we were returning punts this time. We were returning kicks, and we actually had some pretty positive results from that. Um, Kate York is still kind of a head scratcher for me. I think that he has the yips still. Um, I don't know if it's just the lack of protection or if he's just missing them. Um, but we need to get that sorted out for Kate York because, uh, you know, he needs to figure it out. All in all, we're four and seven. Mathematically, we're still in the hunt somehow, some way. We should be seven and three if we had a better defense. Um, but yeah, we beat. I mean, hey, you beat Tom Brady. You beat the Buccaneers. You're at four wins. Six games left. There's a shot, and uh, all you gotta do is just go out there and win six games. A lot easier to say than do, but. You just got to do it. Um, and I think with Deshaun Watson, there's definitely a possibility. And you have a, I would say, pretty easy schedule um, in these next six games. So hopefully they can pull it out um, starting Sunday against the Texans. And then you're on to Cincinnati and Baltimore. And I think once you get past those, if you can go two and uh, three and oh, or two and one, um, I think you're looking pretty good. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you, Jacoby Reset, for your uh, time as Browns quarterback uh, in place of Deshaun Watson. Um, very, uh, very thankful for what you did for the team. Um, but I'll see you guys all next Sunday as the Browns should be winners over the Houston Texans in Deshaun Watson's revenge game. Uh, hopefully he'll put up four touchdowns and 350 yards. We'll see. But four and seven, we're still in it. Take care, guys.